says if you pass through the water amen it will it will not overwhelm you that's what the bible says so you need to pass through the water when you are coming to church to see whether the waters will overwhelm you amen and when you are driving through the water you know whether you are a good driver wakati unaendesha gari hapo kwa hiyo maji utajua kwamba utajua kama wewe ni dereva mzuri through the water wakati na kitia pale kwa maji you need to be very careful unafaa kuwa mwangalifu sana thank god lakini tunashukuru Mungu next year a time like this mwaka ujao wakati kama huu the lord will not be the same hiyo barabara itakuwa vile we are here to change the lord tuko hapa kutubadilisha hiyo barabara amen amen hallelujah amen that is what we believe next year time like this we shall have made the lord to be nice tutakuwa tumetengeneza barabara hey hallelujah amen by the power of the word of god akupitia nguvu za neno la mungu and the money god is going to give us na zile pesa mungu atatupea next year a time like this mwaka ujao wakati kama huu you be walking through a nice road tutakuwa tunapitia kwa barabara nzuri amen amen hallelujah amen that's what we believe ndio tunaamini and that's what we have come here to do na ndio tumekuja hapa kufanya hallelujah amen Amen. Amen. Because God has always raised us to that to the next level. Ile kwa maana Mungu ametunia ametunua katika kiwango kingine. I was saying on that day. Na Alhamisi tulikuwa tunasema. There is a difference between prophetic ministry and apostolic ministry. Kuna tofauti katika kati ya eh huduma ya unabii na huduma ya mitume. Hallelujah. Amen. The church is built on a on foundation of apostles and prophets. Kanisa linajengwa juu ya mitume na juu ya wanabii. They are the greatest branches. Hizo ndizo zile branch kubwa. From Jesus we have apostles and we have prophets. Kutoka kwa Yesu tuko na manabii na tuko na mitume. Who is an apostle? Ah mtume ni nani? Somebody who is sent by God. Mtu ambaye ametumwa na Mungu. Hallelujah. Amen. To establish Christ in the lives of people akatambulisha Kristo kwa maisha ya watu. So the work of the prophet uh, apostle is to build. Na kazi ya mitume ni kujenga. To build the church. Kujenga kanisa. Not necessarily physically. Si uh, ya kuonekana kwa maisha. By the word of God. Lakini kwa neno la Mungu. To give guidance uh, to give the uh, the building blocks which the church is built is because of the apostle. Eh uh, vile kanisa linajengwa ni kwa sababu ya mitume. So they are higher teachers. Kwa hivyo kuna walimu wa hali ya juu. Hallelujah. Amen. They guide the church. Wanaelekeza uh, kanisa. Bibiri kari. Kimbibilia. They talk about the foundation. Wananena kuhusu msingi. Hallelujah. Amen. They build us on foundation. Wanatujenga katika misingi. They explain to us who is Jesus. Wanatuelezea Yesu ni nani. They like taking us through the scriptures and Wana, expounding it. Wanapenda kutupeleka katika maandiko na kuyaeleza. There are people of revelation on the scriptures. Ni watu ambao ni waufunua katika zile zile But scriptures. But we have the prophetic ministry. Alafu tuko na huduma ya kinabii. It is the one which guide the church. Hiyo ndio inaelekeza kanisa. Hallelujah. Amen. The church do not know where to go. Kanisa alijui ilielekea wapi. It is the prophet. Ni, ni yule nabii. Who has the guide? Ambaye akona mwelekeo. Who has the light? Ambaye akona mwangaza. Amen. And the work of the 
prophet is to take you from from Egypt. Go with you through the wilderness. And make sure that you go to your Canaan. So that's the work of the prophet. They are the people who change people. They have anointing to change the lives of people. They have an anointing to make people to change their lives. They can speak to your life. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's why we have a prophetic ministry. It is very different from apostolic work. Hallelujah. Amen. So today there is your prophetic word. Hey. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. There is a prophetic word for you today. Which you must receive. And when you receive it, you mix it with faith. So that you receive from your God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm humbled by the way you have come to church today. May God bless you and may God remember you. Hallelujah. Amen. It is good to come to church when it's raining. And it is very bad to go to hospital when it's raining. You know there is a difference between old Solomon and young Solomon. Hallelujah. Amen. Young Solomon loves the Lord. He built a house for God. He sacrifices for God. Young Solomon is married only to one wife. But the old Solomon. He has many wives. He forgot God. So are you a young Solomon or an old Solomon? Old Solomon like to be to be to be kubebelezo so that they can come to church. Those are old Solomon. They don't sacrifice to God anymore. They are married to many wives. The Bible says he married many wives who turned him away from God. But the, but the young Solomon loved God. When he was asked what he want, he was He's told God, give me wisdom. But the old wisdom, the old Solomon does not like wisdom. The young Solomon was looking after people. People of God. The old Solomon was not looking after people. So in church, we always have old Solomon and young Solomon. We usually have old Solomon. They don't like praying. They don't like fasting. They don't like giving. They don't like Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Those are old Solomon. Is it old Solomon or young Solomon? I, I don't know. Hallelujah. Who is your neighbor today? Is it old Solomon? Or young Solomon. But today we have young Solomon in the church. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. All of you are young Solomon. Young Solomon can come to church even when he's laying. But the old Solomon will be back in June. At, atarundi, eh, sita. Hallelujah. <laughs> You'll be back in June. Atarundi huko mwezi wa sita. I'm saved this even morning. Nimeiruka asubuhi njema. Jesus is my Lord and Savior. Yesu ni bwana na mwokozi wangu. I want to speak to you this morning. Nataka kunena nayo siku ya leo asubuhi. About the topic that we are on his hands. Eh tuko katika mikono yake. On his hands. Katika mikono yake. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. On his hands. I don't know whether you have looked at a young, a young, a young child. A very young one. When you hold that young child, and you throw him or her on air, he smiles. Hallelujah. Amen. Take an adult here. Lakini chukua mtu ambaye amekomaa. Even take them. Ile mshuhai na itu aje. Ile yakuzuguka ipi. <laughs> Even take them. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Even tell them to go through inaitwa aje sijui vile go around. Mili, eh, tell them to go up there. Naambia pande pale katika ile merry go round. Kama hujaisikia mtu akiogea na lugha za dimi, utamsikia huko juu. Kwa sababu wengine wakisukushwa tu hapo akitoka. Hallelujah. Pressure iko wa 90 to 90 73. Why? Kwa sababu watoto wanaamini mikono ile inawashika. That's my message. Amen. But when we grow old, we no longer trust the hands. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. But today I want to tell you we are on his hands. Haijalishi ni nini unapitia but today you are on the hands of the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Tuko mikononi mwa nani? Kwa Mungu wetu. Mungu wetu. Amen. Amen. Kuna driver tulikuwa tunatoka na ye, na huku. Wakati mwingine Sijui ni nini alifanya gari ikaingia kwa pare kado ya barabara na ikashikwa na huku chini. So wamama waliokuwa ndani wakaanza kupiga makelele. Lakini driver akawageukia akawauliza. Mnapiga makelele? Kwani ikiaguka mimi niko nje? <laughs> Kashidwa na watu wanajua kuogea. Na nikafikiria hiyo kweli. Why are we making noise? Si hata yeye ikiaguka hata yeye yako ndani. Hallelujah. So why people do not like to be on long hands on long hands watu wapendi kuwa mikononi mwa watu wale ambao ni mikono mibaya bwana asifiwe amen wacha nikupatie mfano mwingine wakati ulikuwa umeenda theater for whatever reasons <laughs> for whatever reasons na kama hujaenda wedi for whatever reason in jesus mighty name ukiingia theater na ukutane na mtu hapo ufugue macho tu tuseme uko hapo kwa operating table ufugue macho tu ule mtu utaona akiwa ameshika sidano uone hapa hapa juu imeandikwa kampani ya security imeandikwa for G4S atidi yako hapo anataka die operating doctor how will you feel utaamka utashikwa ukiwa kwako na hiyo guo yao ya green utashikwa kwako kwa nyumba ukasema mimi mtu wa, for, wa G4S hawezi ni operate. Si ni kweli? Eh, utatoroka. Ha, si utatoroka. Kabisa. Kwa sababu hiyo mikono mm. sio mikono mizuri. Yes. Mikono ya 4GS <laughs> G4S <laughs> na kuoperate haiperekani. Yes. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Je, ukiingia pale kadhanje umepeleka mtoto wako na ukute mama wa kitchen ndiye amekalia kiti. Na kuambia mtoto wako anaumwa na wapi? Na ni mama wa kitchen. Kwanza ako na ile kef akona <laughs> ile kofia ya kitchen imeandikwa kuku haleluya na akona na akona kabuti ambayo imeandikwa imeandikwa roiko akona kabuti imeandikwa roiko na apron ambayo imeandikwa dora <laughs> uga ya dovu alafu ndiye amekaa pale anakuambia mtoto wako anasikia namna gani akwambie sidano ambazo nimemtampatia ni sita na ya kwanza ninaanza saa hii utatoroka kwa sababu hiyo mikono sio mikono mizuri Bwana asifiwe. Wakati tutakuwa tukienda kutembea nje ya nchi. Because soon we are going. Amen. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Tufike pale uwaja wa ndege. Alafu tukalie kwa ndege. Kuna sauti inaongea kabla hujatoka. Anasema my name is pilot so and so. Lakini pilot aongee aseme mimi naitwa pilot so and so. Na hii ndio mara yangu ya kwanza kuendesha ndege. It is my first time. So naambia kila mtu I'm practicing with you. Msijali ili mara yangu ya kwanza. But I believe in Jesus. Tutafika South Africa mapema na tutafika vizuri. But I want to tell you, sijawahi fry ndege yoyote. Ni nyinyi naanza na nyinyi. My good people stay. Relax. Inaitwa ile wana wa poem wanatuambia stay back. Relax. Sit back. Relax. Enjoy the flight. Utasikia aje. Mara ya kwanza mtu aseme ni nyinyi. Wacha hivyo, jana wa mama walikuwa wanaenda. Yule driver alikuwa anawaendesha hapo. Mlikuwa unamkereresha na nirafiki yangu. Lakini kama angekuja awabie sijawaienda. Sijawaienda driving school, lakini ni nyinyi naenda na nyinyi. I trust in Jesus. Dereva ne Jesu. Anza kuiba hiyo wibo. Ti driver ni mtamwambia no, we don't trust the hands. 
So nasema nini ya subu ya leo? Kuna mikono, tukiwa binadamu, hatuwezi ya mini. Lakini kuna mikono nataka uamini kutoka siku ya leo. Mikono ya mungu. Kwa mana tuko mikono ni mwake. Yeye ni muaminifu. Sema amen. Jesus amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 1. Sorry our, our screens are not working. We will work on them. And God will bless you. Jeremiah 18. Jeremiah 18 verse 1. Hallelujah. The word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord saying, Arise and go down to the potter's house. There I will cause thee to hear my word. Then I went down to the potter's house, and behold, he wrote a wax on the wheels, and the vessel that he made of the clay was mud in, his heart, in the heart of the potter. So he made it again another vessel, as it seemed good, to the potter to make it. Is a uh, Jeremiah 18 verse. Nena ili ndilo nilina mjia Yeremia kutoka kwa bwana kusema ondoka ushuke mpaka nyumba ya mfinyanzi na huko nitakusikizisha maneno yangu. Basi nikashuka mpaka nyumba ya mfinyanzi na tanzama alikuwa akifanya kazi yake kwa magurudumu. Nacho na na chombo kile alichokuwa akikifinyaga kilipo haribika mkono ni mwake yule mfinyanzi alikifany, alikifanyiza tena kuwa chombo kingine kama alivyoona vema yule mfinyanzi ukifanya Jeremiah was told to go to the potter's house Jeremiah aliambiwa aende katika nyumba ya mfinyanzi God wanted to speak to him Mungu alikuwa anataka kumnenea and he wanted to give him message for the people of Israel Na alikuwa anataka kumpa ujumbe kwa watu wa Israeli He told him to go down there Alimwambia aende chini huko Any time God is speaking to his people Wakati wa watu Mungu ananena kwa watu wake There is only one word Kuna kwanga na neno moja Arise Inuka. God does not speak to people who are seated. Always God tell people arise and go. God is always setting people. God does not like lazy people. He keep on telling people arise and go. Hallelujah. Amen. And God keep on telling people come to me. Keep setting people. Always God is calling people. So he's telling uh, Jeremiah. I have a word for you. But I would like you to arise. And go. Hallelujah. Amen. So always a word come with arising and going. Kila wakati neno linakuja na ondoka uende. Always the word is not for us. Kila wakati neno si letu. It is for somebody else. Kila mtu mingine. That's why we keep on leeching other people. Diposa uwa tunaenda kwa watu wengine. That's why we should not be selfish. Diposa atufai ukua watu ambao ni wachoyo. I have realized people are so selfish. Nimabudua yakwamba watu ni wachoyo. They want to be minister to them. Wana, wanataka tu wao wenyewe waudumie. And they don't like other people coming to church. Hata hataki watu wengine waanze katika kanisa. They always want them to be on your phone book. Wanapendanga tu wao ukae pale kwa phone. It is only you, me and you pastor. Mimi na wewe mchungaji. When other people try to come to church. Wakati watu wengine wanajaribu kuja katika kanisa. They tell them about the problem in the church. Wanawaambia hizi zile shida ziko kwa kanisa. But always God is setting us out. Lakini kila wakati Mungu anatutuma huko nje. Hallelujah. Amen. God is setting us out. Mungu anatutuma nje. Even when you want to give us messages. Hata wakati anataka kutupa ujumbe. So he was told to go to the potter's house. Kwa hiyo aliambiwa aende katika nyumba ya mfinyanzi. I will cause you to hear the word. Hapa nitakufanya usisikie neno. Hey, may your house be a house where people hear the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, he was sent to somebody's house so that, ya mtu. so that God can speak to him in that house. Katika, akiwa katika ile I'm prophesying to you. Your house will be a place where people will come and hear the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. It is not where people come to fight. Si mahali, watu it is somewhere where people will come and God will give them the word. I will tell you whatever I want to tell you when you're in the potter's house. And Jeremiah is a wonderful man. He's a man who obeys. 
ni mtu ambaye anatii he woke up and went down to the potter's house aliondoka akaenda katika ile nyumba ya mfunyanzi and he saw what he was doing na aliona vile huyo mfunyanzi alikuwa akifanya he was on his wheel alikuwa katika eh, magurudumu yake and that is where god wanted to speak to him na hapa ndipo mungu alikuwa anataka kumnenea our god is a wonderful god mungu wetu ni wanjabu he can choose to speak to you from any place ana anazitagua kukunenea mahali popote pale you should be led for God to speak you wherever you are. Unavaa kuwa tayari kila wakati maana Mungu anaweza kunenea kutoka mahali. He never says when he send you to speak to you. Mali popote ambapo ambapo atakutuma kukunenea. You should be led and you should go there. Unavaa kuwa tayari na unavaa kuwa pale. And hear the word of God. Msikia neno la Mungu. The potter was working. Yule mfinyanzi alikuwa anafanya kazi yake. And suddenly, na ghafla tu, the vessel was destroyed. Ile kile chombo kikaharibika. And what happened? Na nini kilitendeka? Oh, hallelujah. Amen. She made it again another vessel. Alifanya tena kuwa kitu kingine tena. Hey, hallelujah. Amen. As he seemed it good to him. Kama vile alivyoona ni vema. This was a lesson. Hii ilikuwa ni dio somo. What he wanted him to understand. Vile alikuwa anataka yeye Yeremia aelewe. He sent him to the potter. Alimtuma kule kwa mfinyanzi. He sent him to the potter. Alimtuma kwa mfinyanzi. He was working on a vessel. Ambaye alikuwa anatengeneza chombo chake. And what happened? Na nini kilitendeka? When the vessel was mad. Wakati kile chombo kiliharibika. He made another vessel. Alitengeneza chombo kingine. So he sent him to a potter. Kwa hivyo alimtuma kwa mfinyanzi. Power. Mwenye alikuwa na nguvu. To make vessels. Kutengeneza kutengeneza vyombo. Hallelujah. Amen. He could choose to make a vessel. Angechagua kutengeneza vessel. Which look like this one which is here. Ambaye inakaa kama hii. But when in mad. Na wakati alifinyanga. Hallelujah. Amen. It if it could not become whatever he was making it. Kama akikuwa kinakaa venye anataka. He started another time. Ali, alianza mara tena. Had made another one. Na atengeneza nyingine. Yet when it was mad. Na kama haikuwa sawa. He changed the, the, the style. Anabadilisha ile muundo. He changed the, the size. Anabadilisha ile ile kiwango. Anafanya atengeneza kitu kingine. So what do you see? Kwa hiyo kwa hiyo Remi Mare aliona nini? Somebody who was making different vessels from the same clay. Mtu ambaye alikuwa anatengeneza vitu vingi kutokana na ule tu udongo. Hallelujah. Amen. Mwenyezi ati mko tola mugia ga gai. Mnadhania mtakaa mkisumbua Mungu. Amen. 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 Tuko torate tukia mwadhani. Tutakaa hapa tukisumbua Mungu. Friday Friday na ni Friday ya mahoya. Friday hii Friday ni ya maombi. Na waka koma. Ni una lala. Kwa santi una doge igua. Hata uweze mjisikia vile ni lala. Araiga atiriri. Anasema hivi. Ena hinya wa gutura kindu kingi kuma kuidoro hiyo. Ako na nguvu ya kutengeneza kitu kingine kutokana na ule undongo. I thank God. Nashukuru Mungu. Kwa sababu I was not born a preacher. Maana mimi siko nimezaliwa mhubiri. Although I'm born in the house of preachers. Hata kama nimezaliwa katika nyumba ya watu wa makuhani. For sure I know 100%. Mimi najua niko sure kabisa. God called me because of other people could not respond to his call. Mungu aliniita kwa ajili ya watu wengine ambao hawakukubali ule mwito. Unajua unajiuliza the what keep me going? Eh? Niki kitumaga kathie na mbele. Nini kinaifanya niendelee? Hallelujah. Amen. Na niki kitumaga diloraga I don't By the way, siangalii mtu. Kwa maana mimi najua kuna chombo kiliharibika mimi nikategenezwa. So I'm very careful because I'm on his hands. Nisifanye ujiga, niondolewe, kutegenezwe mingine. Hallelujah. Amen. Mnaelewa vile nasema? Yes. Mambo matatu. Three things we learn. Mambo matatu tunasoma. Number one. Ya kwanza. God is the potter. Mungu ndiye mfinyanzi. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Sitaki kuhubiri sana. God is the potter. Mungu ndiye mfinyanzi. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Isaiah 64:8. What is it saying? Isaiah 64:8. Ama rudi tu hapo Jeremiah 18 verse 6. O house of Israel, can I not do with you as this potter says the 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 Lord. Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so you are in my hand, O house of Israel. Eh nyumba ya Israeli, je, siwezi mimi kuwatenda nini vile vile kama mfinyanzi huyu alivyotenda? 
Asema bwana angalieni kama udongo ulivyo katika katika mkono wa mfunyanzi ndivyo mlivyo nini katika mkono wangu e nyumba ya Israeli God is a potter Mungu ndiye mfunyanzi and we are in his hands Natoka katika mikono yake He can do whatever you want with us Anaweza fanya vile anataka na sisi Hallelujah Amen Sema amen Hallelujah Amen God can do whatever he wants with you Mungu anaweza fanya vile anataka na wewe. He can make you rich. Anaweza kukufanya tajiri, but he can also make you the poorest of the poor. Na anaweza kukufanya yule ambaye ni maskini wa maskini. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at your nice legs. Angalia miguu yako mizuri. Hallelujah. Amen. They can be they can have spots from next year March by the grace of God. Don't say amen to that. Inaweza kuwa na mandoa ndoa kutoka mwaka ujao. Today they are very nice legs. Sasa hii ni mgumu mzuri sana. Even you don't want to hide them. Hata hutaki kuvita. I'm not telling you to hide them. Sikwambie uvite. Expose them they need to be seen. Ah, uh, hiyo ndoa inatupa kwa nguo na. I don't know who need to see them. Sijui nani anahitaji. But I'm telling you. Lakini nakwambia. You are in the hands of the potter. Uko katika mikono ya Mungu. A moment can come. Wa, wakati naweza kuja. When you look at your legs. Uangalie miguu yako. And you look at the crocodile leg. Na uangalie miguu ya mamba. The They look the same. Wana inafanana. But today, lakini sikia leo. Pota has decided. Ya kwamba mfunyanzi ameamua. You are first to be smooth. Eh, uso wako ukuwa smooth. You are next to be smooth. Miguu yako ukuwa smooth. You have to be smooth. Mikono yako ikuwa smooth. You have all your teeth. Uko na meno yako yote. Now let me tell you. Lakini acha nikwambie. It is not permanent. Si ya kudumu. You are in his hands. Uko katika mikono yake. He can decide to remake you. Anaweza amua kukutengeneza tena. He can give you something you will cry forever. Anaweza kukupa kitu ambacho kitakufanya uliye milele. That's why I don't pray with my God. Ndipoza sichezi na Mungu wangu. That's why I don't pray aloud with the word of God. Ndipoza Because I know I'm in his hand. Maana najua niko katika mikono yake. When I'm destroyed. Wakati tu nitaharibiwa. When I don't become what he wants. Kama uh, kama si quick chenye anataka. He can do away with me. Inaweza anaweza niondoa. Hallelujah. Amen. One minute. Dakika moja tu. Mwe mnasikia kuna mtu alikuwa anapita huko anaikuwa anaitwa Johnson. Alikuwa anahubiri watu wanasimama, anaongea, anaombea watu wana, by the moment I'm messed, I'm a cray in his hand. Eko boba ni amuduki I'll be forgotten. Atatengeneza mtu mwingine ni mimi nisaulike. We are in his hands. Tuko katika mikono yake. Let us be very careful. Acha tuwe waangalivu. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Let us be very careful. Tuwe waangalivu. We are in his hands. Tuko katika mikono yake. Nimeona watu wakibarikiwa wanakuwa careless. Na nimeona watu wakinuliwa wanakuwa careless. Let me tell you seriously. Acha nikwambie. Wakati ulikuwa na shida. Ukiniona nikiingia kwa gate ulikuwa unasimama. Na nigojea mpaka ni nimalize kichochote ili ukuje uniambie sasa nimekuobea shida imeisha skati imeanza kushika kiuno troza imeanza kushika kiuno kiatu umekuwa na bili sasa umesahau i'm watching you na kuangalia haleluya ni mungu anamwambia anaambia israeli hamjui naweza fanya bile bwana asifiwe amen i can do anything with i can hiyo ndio so neno nataka mjue i can do anything with you naweza fanya chochote na nyinyi amen amen i can i can decide naweza amua kesho ukiamka you don't have eyes <laughs> he can decide tomorrow morning ukiamka si unaamka mapema uende kazi na hiyo kazi imekuwa mungu wako he can decide ukiamka hivi we si rejea tena hivi mstari kuta unaambia watoto mti akia hitima anakwambia si ziko kakutane kora kia kwani akuja kwa hapana mam ni asu sioni why can i see can i see the right he has decided you are time to see the right is over ameamua wakati wako wa kuwa na mwangaza umeisha i want us to be humble nataka tu wanyemekevu i remember that we are on his hands nasikumbuka ya kwamba tuko katika mikono yake amen amen and he can change things naweza ana anaweza badilisha vitu he can declare from today you are blessed anaweza atangaza ya kutoka leo wewe ni mbarikiwa the same way he can declare hivyo hivyo ndivyo anaweza atangaza you are an enemy from today amen and are bringing you down na kuchukua kushuta. Hallelujah. Tusha. Hallelujah. Amen. We are in his hand. Tuko katika mikono yake. He can do with us whatever you want. Anaweza kufanya chochote anataka. So let, us, let us let us respect this God. Wacha tumheshimu yule Mungu. Hey, hallelujah. Amen. He's telling 
Jeremiah. Anambia Yeremia. You are in my hand. Mko katika mikono yangu. I can do whatever I want. Naweza fanya chochote nataka. I can do whatever I want. Naweza fanya vyenye nataka. I can do whatever you, I want. Naweza fanya chochote nataka. I can bless them. Naweza wabariki. I can declare that they, I can see they will be poor forever. Naweza sema watakuwa maskini. I can lift them. Naweza waimua. They in my hands. Naye wako kwa mikono yangu. So this morning. Kwa hiyo asubuhi njema. Let us know that we are all in the hands of God. Wacha tujue kwamba tuko katika mikono ya Mungu. Nobody is superior than the other. Hakuna mtu ambaye ni mkuu kuliko mwingine. We are there and there is some work which is going on. Tuko pale na kuna kazi inaendelea. And there's one thing I want you to know. Kuna kitu kimoja ambacho nataka ujue. For you to be clear. Wewe ili ukawe ule mdongo. How do you come? Unaweza kuwa udongo wa haji. Hallelujah. Amen. How does the clay come to the potter's house? Eh, udongo unaweza kuja katika nyumba ya, ya mvunyazi aje. Not every kind of soil come to the potter's house. Si kila mchanga ambao unakuja katika ile nyumba ya mvunyazi. They go out there. Wanatoka huko nje. And they dig it. Wanaichimba. And they separate this from others. Wanato wanatenganisha mchanga huo. And it is carried. Alafu umebebwa. When it is brought to the house of Na, the potter. Wakati umeletwa katika nyumba ya mvunyanzi. No, oh, what is happening first? Nini kinafanyika kwanza? Stones are removed. Mawe yametolewa. Sticks are removed. Miti inatolewa. Impurities are removed. Kila ya mauchavu yote inatolewa. And that thing which happened. Alafu kitu cha tatu. It is soaked in water. Imewekwa katika maji. Make it soft. Ili ifanyike kuwa so soft. It can be warm. Ili kaweza kufanya kazi. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There is a revelation here. Kuna vunua hapa. Before you are you, you are on the hands of God. Kabla uweka katika mikono ya Mungu. You are separated with others. Na lazima utenganishwe na wengine. You are picked from wherever you are. Unatolewa kutoka mahali ulipo. You are picked from your house. Unatolewa kutoka nyumba yako. You are picked from your family. Unatolewa kwa kwa familia yako. You are separated with them. Unatenganishwa na wao. You can become something. Unaweza kuwa kitu. God says. Mungu anasema. This is my clay. Huyu ni ndogo wangu. I want to turn this clay to something else. Nataka kufanya huyu ndogo ukuwe kitu kingine. Did you be a cup to know? Kesho itakuwa vikombe. It will be a plate tomorrow. Kesho itakuwa sahani. It will be a glass tomorrow. Kesho itakuwa glass. It will be a teapot tomorrow. Itakuwa kesho. But before it will become teapot. Lakini kabla ikuwe ile nyugu. It is very far away from the potter. Eh ule ndogo uko mbali sana na mvunyanzi. Then it is dug and brought to the house. Alafu imechimbwa inaletwa. This is what happened to you. Hivi ndivyo inafanyika kwako. You are not on God's hand. Wewe uko katika mikono ya Mungu. But the blood of Jesus. Lakini damu ya mwana kondoo. Bring you up from your father. Unikubeba kutoka familia yako. The church of the Lord. Alafu katika nyumba ya Bwana. This is where the work is being done. Hapa ndipo ndipo kazi inafanyika. And the first thing. Kazi ya kwanza. It is to be separated. Ni kutenganishwa. The impurity and the stones. Uchafu wote na uovu wote. Then you are soaked in water. Alafu unaelewesha kwa maji. So that you can go to the hands of the potter. Ili ukafika kwa mikono ya mvunyanzi. Many people do not qualify to go to the hands of the potter. Watu wengi hawajaitimu kuwa katika mikono ya mvunyanzi. Because they still have impurities. Eh bado wako na uchanganyika. To be soaked in water. Awa kubali kuloesha kwa maji. They don't want to soften. Awa taki kuwa watu wazuri. Hallelujah. Amen. What soft? You must be soft. Lazima ukuwa iyo kitu soft. Hallelujah. Amen. Nata kuwa katika nyumba ya bona nata kuwa tu mwanaume ama mwanamke yule yule wa kitambo. Hallelujah. Amen. We must soften. Amen. Bona asifu. Amen. So what am I saying? Nasema nini? Hallelujah. Amen. Then it is pressed on the wheel. Alafu inaekelewa katika ile gurudumu. That is where it is guided. Hapo ndipo inaelekezwa. To become the pot which you are taking tea from today. Eh ile kama ile 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 chungu ambacho tumekunywa kutoka kwa. We are on his hands. Tuko katika mikono yake. The Bible says in Isaiah 64 verse 8, but now O Lord, you are our father. We are the clay, you are the potter, and we are the work of your hand. Isaiah 64 Verse 8. Hallelujah. Amen. Lakini sasa, ewe Bwana, wewe ni baba yetu. Sisi tu undongo, nawe wewe mfunyanzi wetu. Sisi wote tu kazi ya mikono yako. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we agree we are in the hands of God. Tukubali ya kwamba tuko katika mikono ya Bwana. He is the potter. Yeye ndiye mfunyanzi. But the question is, Nasema ni, Hallelujah. Amen. How are we allowing him to make us? Tuna, tuna, uh, are we kutufanya are we given ourselves have we given ourselves fully to him so that he can make us whatever he wants tumejipeana kwetu sisi sisi tukiwa what vile tulivyo sisi we are on his hand because elohim is a potter 
Tuko kwake kwa ma, tuko kwa mikono yake maana yeye ndiye mfinyanzi. I pray for you may you become a good vessel in the house of the Lord. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ukawa chombo chema katika nyumba ya Bwana. You become a wonderful vessel in Jesus. Ukawa chombo cha ajabu katika nyumba ya Bwana. Hey, the Lord is working on you. May the work continue and complete in Jesus mighty name. Bwana anafanya kazi kwako. Kazi iendelee na ikamalizike katika nyumba ya Yesu. Amen. Number 2. Ya pili. The wheel. Mwili wa gurudumu. Which what is the wheel? The wheel is the circumstances of life. <laughs> Amen. Wiru ni nini? Circumstances <laughs> of <laughs> Nagekoyo ni circumstances of life. Circumstances of life in kiso, in kiso, in Kiingereza kikuyu ni circumstances of life. Hali ya kama hali ya maisha. Eh, ni hali ya mani circumstances. Circumstances. Matukio 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 ya maisha ya maisha amen bwana asifi amen leo umekuja church kukiwa na maji that is a circumstance last time ulikuwa unakuja kukiwa na uh, uh, kukiwa na vumbi is another circumstance unataka kuniambia umetebea vile ulitebea last time hata nitaita watu hapa ni waagali ukiona mtu kiatu yake haina dog haina 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 nini Matope. Matope. Huyo mtu anaweza kuwa tajiri haraka sana. <laughs> Amepitia wapi huyo mtu na vile na ukiona <laughs> Wacha nikuambie kiatu yako itaniambia unakuaga nani? Nikuwaita hapa. Kiatu yako itaniambia unakuaga nani? There are people who do not care. Bali wanapitia. Yeye tu ni mahali tu anaenda. Patani haki nyako riadhia. <laughs> Hallelujah. Na kuna wengine wanabeba viatu bi. Anajua kuna nini? Kuna matope. Anabeba. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Hii inaongea watu vile wako. Amen. Amen. Huyo mtu wabaya ako na matope anatupebea kila mahali ni yule mtu ukimwachia pesa ya chakula anaweza nunua kwanza vitu vingine. Tesia na ndio yale asiye basi giri romo katesia beirie. Pesa ya uga watoto wanaambiwa kwanza wakule mka. Yaani pesa ya uga wanaambiwa how ni wao watu unaona wakibitia huko? They don't care about so many things. Lakini wana watu unaona wakiwa smart. Elfu moja ikiwa ni ya school fees hata mkiria. Hata kukikuja nani? Yeah. Ya school fees ni hiyo ndio tofauti. Circumstances in life. Hii mvua imeniambia washirika wangu ni group mbili. Kuna wale wako free fall wamejiachilia au matima kadhio. Okay. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Sasa zikire mnastuka vile na interpret behavior zenu. That's how people are. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Circumstance in life ni kusema ilikuwa inashugushwa ikifanyiwa ile kitu ambayo inatakikana. Katika hii maisha tunasugushwa. Hey, kuna mambo tunakutana nayo. Unauliza where is God? Sijui kama ni mimi peke yangu. Where is God? Hii kitu Mungu ameyachilia katika pande yangu how will i survive lakini by the grace of god tunajipata tuko upande ule mwingine how we have made it we don't know but we are still there circumstances of life saa zingine kuna kuja upepo unaona kama utakubeba eh hey, lakini wacha nikuambie mimi nime nimeamua katika hii maisha i will always turn any circumstance to my advantage. Kila kitu ninakutana naye to my advantage. Nilikuwa naomba hapa mvua ikanyesha mvua ikanyesha mvua ikanyesha. Maji kaanza kutoka pale nikauliza, si maji inamwagika pale? Kwa nini imwagika na watu wanahitaji maji? Si naenda ka, naenda container naleta hapa. Si me decide kutokea ndani. Si tuchote maji. We have a stit tutumie. <laughs> Badala ya kusimama hapo ukiangalia juu, unaulizwa Mungu mwadhani hii kitu no turn it to your advantage kwa maana we go through circumstances in life tuambia na ukweli maisha sio nyororo vile watu wanasema maisha sio mzuri kila wakati we go through circumstances the wheel is turning always mungu ama ile gari inazunguka kila mara na wakati inazunguka saa zingine tunajikuta tuko kwa hali hii hali ile ingine lakini katika hiyo hali bando unafanyika kuwa kile chombo ambacho Mungu anataka hali zinakubadilisha uwe kile chombo ambacho Mungu 
anataka kukosa unga kwako ni kukufanya uwe na subira na uwe mnyenyekevu ndio mtu mwingine akikwambia amekosa unga usimwambie kwani baba yenu alitoroka <laughs> kwani baba yenu ali, baba ya, na hiyo ni mke wa, ni mume wake kwani baba yenu alifanya nini alitoroka ufuze watoto wako uwaambie sio baba wanatoroka ndio watu wakose unga ni, ni wao ambao Mungu hajawajalia siku ya leo you become humble unajua unajua circumstances in life they change haleluya watu wengine lazima wae na jaa ndio wao wanyenyekevu kubarikiwa tu na kazi kidogo aweke 10000 kwa mfuko hey, hey. we 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 we, we. sijui itakuwa namna gani hata wakiambiwa inukeni inueni mikono Anas, anaamka kwanza kuguza mfuko na anaangalia my neighbors sasa yule mtu alikuwa mzuri sana bila pesa ameanza ku suspect kila mtu anaanza anaangalia tu haleluya watoto wanakuja sasa hii wanakujia wanakujia sadaka akiigia unaona anarudi nyuma naambia sikieni elfu moja watoto wanarudi tutapeleka wapi bai mugi leo mudu soda alafu cheji mpeleka kwa mwalimu wanaenda wananunua kila mtu soda wanakuja soda ni ya 50 50 wanakuja na 900 and 80 unaweza dhani mwalimu wa sadaka siku atapatiwa 50 anapatia kila mtu kumi kila mtu kumi kwa elfu moja <laughs> ni wakati mtu mkono uko hapo amen wewe hujajuana na wamama wakati kitchen iko sawa akifungua hivi ni unga ya dovu akiangalia pale nje pale juu ni mafuta ya lina akiangalia pale hii kuna <laughs> wita bix akiangalia pale ile kuna maziwa ya packet hapa chini kuna maziwa ingine hata uki, na maya mayai iko mayai haikuwa hey. hapo mayai iko hapa chini ya jiko hey, matupi makao makureli liko majai imekaribia jiko kwa sababu anybody ukiingia katika hiyo nyumba unaulizwa pasta white coffee black coffee black tea white tea are you taking black with blue bird with hey, uh, with jam are you taking balcony ni balcony ama nini nini na kwa hivyo hiyo nyumba inakuwa ngamzuri na this one comes sans kuna siku unaangalia hiyo hapo wakati mahali ulikuwa unaweka uga unakuta na watoto ukitafuta uga uga ukakora kwa nasi anaongea lake nauliza mamu ni nini natafuta natafuta uga na ni wao ulipika jana you don't believe ilisha lakini kwa sababu hutaki isha unaitafuta mpaka huko na unaita watoto na unauliza hakuna mtu ameingia huko hakuna na uga imeenda wapi bwana asifiwe circumstances in life zina to change tuko mikononi mwake through all the circumstances wale wambao wanapitia wakati mgumu wakiwa waaminifu kuna zawadi yao ndio tuliambiwa on that day those who are faithful until the end will receive a crown of faith hallelujah wale walio waaminifu mpaka mwisho watapokea taji so right wakati ile huil it is keep on turning us jeremiah aliambiwa hiyo hiyo gari ni maisha ambayo inabadilisha watu. Bwana asifiwe. So even now we are turning. We don't know where you are. Sasa tunaongea kuna mahali kuko usiku. Ni kusema huko sio ma- sio kuzuri. Lakini kwao ni usiku. Kwetu ni mchana. We are in different circumstances. Sisi tuko ranch, wao wako sapa. We are in different circumstances. Lakini hakuna mkubwa kuliko yule mwingine. Life has circumstances ile huil ambayo inatani katika maisha yako kuwa mwaminifu katika jina la Yesu. Unaweza kuwa Mungu amekuweka katika wakati mgumu. That is your time. Hallelujah. Wewe uko katika hiyo position kwa ile mguu yake ya kukutengeneza. Wengine wamemaliziwa so wamemalizana. Eh, hey, chombo kinamaliziwa lini? Kinaacha kushugushwa lini? Wakati kimefanyika na kimemaliziwa, kinaacha kushugushwa. I'm prophesying to you a day will come when the work will be finished na utatolewa kwa hili in the mighty name of Jesus Christ eh wakati utatengenezeka kuwa kile anataka 
atakutoa sasa aseme ni wakati wa kukaushwa na ni wakati wa kupentiwa because you are ready for work but as long as you are on the wheel be faithful and wait in Jesus mighty name haleluya bwana akupatie subila ya kugojea number three. Kire ni nani? Human being. Sisi dio udongo. Mbona asifiwe? So tumesema mambo matatu. One, the potter ni Mungu. Two, wheel circumstances of life. And then number three, the clay is human being. Hallelujah. Mbona asifiwe? Hallelujah. Now sitaki kudwelo hapo mambo mawili nataka ujue Number one, nimesema kuna mubaji kuna gari na sisi dio ile undongo so anaweza tufanya kile anataka as we wind up number one, you need to turn lazima ubadilike Jeremiah 18 bari tulisoma You need to turn or we need to repent. Uh-huh. Verse seven. At what instance as I speak concerning a nation and concerning a kingdom to pluck it up to pull it down and to destroy it if that nation against whom I pronounce turn from the evil I will repent on the evil that I have thought to do them. Verse May 6 7 and 8 Wakati wote nitakapotoa habari za taifa Wakati wote nitakapotoa habari za taifa wako kwenye wheel Na habari za ufalme Na habari za ufalme kuongoa kuongoa na kuvuja na kuvuja na kuangamiza na kuangamiza ikiwa taifa lile nililotaja ikiwa taifa lile nililotaja litageuka litageuka na kuacha maovu yake na kuacha maovu yake nitagaili nitagaili nisitende ni mabaya yale nilio nilioanzimia mm. kuwatenda chombo kiko kwenye gari na Mungu kimeharibika Mungu kuna kitu anatupatia siku ya leo It is not always that the vessels are destroyed Mbona asifiwe Amen Sometimes you can do something When you are on the wheel and the vessel is mad wakati uko pale juu na kimeharibika Mungu anamwambia Jeremiah Uliona mwenye kufinyanga wakati kiliharibika alitengeneza kingine lakini mimi kuna kitu nitafanya Bwana asifiwe. Ikiwa kitu kimeharibika na taifa limeharibika ama mtu ameharibika na mimi nimesema au pluck it down nitaiharibu. Nita Huyo mtu akifanya nini? Akibadilika. Haleluya. Amen. Mnapata pointi yangu? Mm. Tuko pale kwa yule mtu ambaye anatengeneza chombo. Kimeharibika. Aliona huyo anatengeneza kingine. Lakini Mungu anamwambia Jeremiah it is not like that. Mimi ndiye mko mikononi mwangu. Lakini wakati nimesema mmeharibika nitawaweka chini nitawaharibu mkinyenyekea. Nitafanya nini? Nitafanya nini? Amesema nini? Amesema. Ah. 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 Taifa lile nililotanja litagauka na kuacha maovu yake nitagaili. Nitagaili. Amen. I will repent of the evil that I thought to do unto them. Nisitende mabaya yale niliyoazimia kuwatenda. So God has a second thought. Kwa hiyo Mungu ako na wazo lingine. There is no cray which is too bad. Hakuna udongo ambao ni mbaya zaidi. There is nobody who is too bad. Kwa hiyo hakuna mtu ambaye ni mbaya zaidi. If God has pronounced something. Kama Mungu amestaja kitu, if we repent. Tukigeuka and we turn away. Na tuondoke. He will not destroy us. Atutaribiwa. Hallelujah. Amen. Sema amen. Amen. If we repent on behalf of our brother Tuki, tuki tubu kwa niaba ya wa, wa kaka zetu even if god has pronounced judgment on them hata kama mungu alikuwa ametanja hukumu kwao when you repent on behalf of them tuki uh, tuki tubu kwa niaba yao oh hallelujah amen that's why we intercede for people ni pesa leo tunaambia watu when we intercede for them wakati tunawaombea god had, can have a second thought mungu anaweza kuwa na uwazo la pili and say it is okay with them 
Na asema ni sawa na wao. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So a vessel need to a the crane need to turn. Kwa hiyo ile ndogo inahitaji kuongoka. Even if you are in the hands of God. Hata kama tuko katika mikono ya Mungu. There is a decision to to turn. Kuko na haja ya kuongoka. The decision to repent. Eh na kutubu. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen to what he is saying also. And what instance verse 9. I speak concerning a nation concerning a kingdom to build and plant it if it do evil in my sight and it, it obey not my voice then i repent of the good where i say they are love uh, i would benefit them na wakati watu na wakati wote nitakapotoa habari za taifa na habari za ufalme kujenga na kuupanda ikiwa watatenda maovu mbele za macho yangu wasitii sauti yangu basi nitadhairi Nisitende mema yale nilio nilio azimia kuwatenda. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me finish by saying this. Acha nimalize kwa kusema hivi. The crane be saved. Inaweza haribikwa ile ndio inaweza. Amen. Number 2 we have different vessels. Roma 9:21. We have different vessels. Roma 9 21 Paul was speaking the same thing Let's start with nine, with with 20 Nay but oh man who are you to reply against God So the thing that formed him said to him What formed it Why have you made me like this Eh Paul anaandika maneno makali eh Na sivyo he binadamu wewe huu nani umjibie Mungu Je kitu kilichoundwa kimwambia ki yeye aliye kiumba kwani 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 kuniumba kwani kuniumba hivi this is a very good answer to those who want to go to lg lg inaitwa lg lgbtq btq iko na q hata ikiwe kwa z na pale mwisho waweke hell lgbtq hell so this is a good answer if god made you like this Would you tell him <laughs> why did you make me like this? Uliza Mungu kwa nini umefanya hivi? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Wewe wacha kutamani kuwa mrefu. Ujui wale warefu vile wanasubuka. Hallelujah. Wale warefu wanataka kuwa wafupi. Wale wafupi wanataka kuwa warefu. <laughs> wale wanona wanataka kusiri. Utawakuta wakikula watikunywa dimu. No. <laughs> Ati wa Na wale wale we bamba utawakuta wakikula mafuta. Let me tell you utakula mafuta na inaye dayote. Kunona haitokani na chakula, kunona ni roho. <laughs> kunona ni nini? Kunona ni roho. Waje nikuambie kunona ni roho. Ukitaka kunona wiki hii. Uko na 500 pitia pale. Nunua kwa kuile kubwa ni wanuite. Na mkata ile kubwa ya night. Na huna pesa ingine. Alafu wewe ndio utfukuze watoto wote hiyo wabie. Go away. Uanze maisha hapo. Useme hii maisha haitakaki nini? Stress. Hii koku ni yangu. Na hataki mtu anikaribie. Kama ndio wakikuja unakabia go away. Uhakikisha umemaliza within two days. Enda upime wewe utakuta umeanza. Why? Kwa sababu hiyo 500 uko naye ndio inakusumbua. Ikiisha utakuwa uta unamwamini Bwana vizuri. Na no, watoto wamekufanya uwe na stress mingi. Na wacha ni kuwapatia siri. When they grow up, they will do whatever they want. Wakikuwa wakubwa, watafanya vile wanataka. And you do nothing. Hata wewe unafanya vile unataka na mamako na babako hakuna kitu wanafanya. Anakuangalia tu hivi. Waiga hata daiga wakuwa. Sawa. Wewe hiyo ndio malipo. Hallelujah. Kwa nini tuna Tuko na stress ya zile tulifanyiwa. Amechagua 2023 niwe katika single room. That is what the potter has decided in 2023. Kesi hiyo haijawekwa hapo. 2024 atakupeleka level hiyo ingine akimaliza na kukusugusha. Bado unasugushwa di uko kasiko. Unashugushwa. Unashugushwa. Hata ukijaribu kutafuta siko kubwa na kadogo zote zinato sana. A sigo is a sigo. Whether ni kubwa or ni dogo. Whether imekaribia cho ama iko bali na cho. <laughs> But ukimaliza kushukushwa, 
Let me tell you. At a decide kupeleka level hiyo ingine and you will not struggle. Mudhenya kila siku ile baraka itaingia katika maisha yako. There will be no struggle. I'm telling you. There will be no struggle. Hallelujah. Wakati utafika maamalizane na wewe naona wengine wako wako wengine wako mzuguko ya mwisho. <laughs> wengine wako ya katikati. Kuna wengine wameanza. Don't worry kama umeanza. Kuna wengine wamezuguka zuguka. Lakini ukimaliza mzuguko wako, you be the perfect vessel akutoe kwa kushugushwa uende kwa kazi. So lakini anauliza Paulo yule ambaye aliubwa atamuuliza yule ambaye alimuumba kwa nini uliniumba hivi? No. We have not we don't question the maker. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Tosheka na vile uliumbwa. Kuna watu mpaka wanaficha wazazi wao. Tukienda nyumbani mama anaambiwa ukae hapa na usiogee. Sasa mnaogea sasa mkoro unakuta mkoro anafanya tu hivi. Kwa nini mkoro aogea? Eliro Aliabiwa usiogee na mtu. Hadi kwa sababu mkoro anasahau waga, akianza ushuhuda, anaenda hivi, akirudi, anaenda hivi, akirudi. No, is your mother na tunampenda. Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. Amen. Wengine hawataki kupigwa picha na wazazi wao. Amen. Amen. Kwa nini ulinitulipa? <laughs> kwa nini ulituleta huko? Kwa nini tulizaliwa huko? Hakuna sababu mzuri. Be contented na kile amekufanyia. Usiuze maswali, Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. Tulikuwa tunasoma has not the potter power over the clay 21 of the same lamb to make one vessel unto honor another one of this honor. Au finyazi je, hana hamri juu ya ya udongo kwa kwa fungu moja la undongo kuumba chombo kimoja kiwe cha heshima na kimoja kiwe akina heshima. Hallelujah. Amen. So we can have different vessels. Wewe tunaweza kuwa na vyombo tofauti. One is of honor. Moja ni ya heshima, another is of dishonor. Yeye ndiye aina heshima. Yoyote Mungu amechagua kukufanya na kukutegemeza. Eh, hey, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Aje niulize swali ile lag lag ni ile tunapaguza nyumba naye sidi iko lag yako inakanga wapi kama saa hii kunaonyesha iko pale nje ya nyumba si ni kweli si ni kitu mzuri bwana asifiwe sana sana lag inategenezwa na nini nguo zile mzee <laughs> mzee sasa tofauti ya lag na hiyo shati umevaa ni nini what is the difference hiyo shati ni ya maana kwa sababu ya kaziri umempatia leo. Ukasema leo nitaenda nayo hocha. Lakini kesho hiyo the same same inaweza kuwa ragi. Ni kusema ragi ni baya, haina heshima. Kama hakukakuwa na ragi, haukekuja ukuwa smart kwa sababu kukekuwa na maji kwa nyumba. So ni ragi ilifanyika ikapaguza ndio kuwe kuzuri. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. So why are you smart? Because your rag was working. So you are right although it is of dishonor it is important. Hata kama ragi yako haiko haina heshima ni kile kiskati cha kitabu kile ni kubatiza nacho. Katikati kile dako fatidhiria nakio. Hata kama hata kama ni kiskati umeweka hapo. Sio kusema haina haja it is still something nice. Kwa maana inafanya nyumba ikawe sawa. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Sio kusema hiyo shirt ambayo umevaa ndio ndio mzuri sana. Lakini zote ni vyombo zingine ni za hesima. Let me tell you. Hallelujah. Amen. Uji ni mzuri. Lakini uji ukiwekwa kwa grass utakunywa. Uh-uh. Kwa nini? Grass ni ya maji. Maji. Mm. Chai ukiwekwa kwa grass? Uh-uh. Kila chombo kina kazi yake. Mm. Lakini sio kusema grass ni special. Todwa tenywa la juice ile utika ile katwali. Na juzi inyua go otatoka. <laughs> juzi inakujua anti akikuja. Lakini sasa grass ikiwa pale inapiga kelele. Nyamazeni. Niko hapa Mungu anasema hivi. Wewe grass ka hapo. Mwanza ni agos. Hiyo nyua na iko bekiriko. Lakini mimi nakunywaga na ile ya mabati. Haleluya. Wakati wanakunywaka na ile ya mabati kubwa kwa sababu kale kadogo hatusikiagi bali kameenda. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hiyo yangu 
ya mabati uzidharau na kwangu kukosa hiyo kuna zingine lakini hizo zingine let me tell you ziko na uchafu mahali ziko kwa sababu ni wageni wakati wanakuja hizo zinatoka lakini hii yagu asubuhi tulikuwa nayo jioni inanikojea it is always used it is more honorable kuliko ile iko pale juu lakini ile iko pale juu sio kusema ni useless ni vile master amechagua kuwa anatumia hii na ikikasirisha master itarudishwa pale huko ni guemohana na hivyo ndivyo tuliko tu, ni ona tu ametutoa pale glass imetolewa tu pale kwa cupboard leo kwa sababu kuna wageni isijirige kwako ni pale bwana asifiwe kwako na juice ikisha hakuna glass umeikuta kukuwa na glass hapo bila juice maji ikisha hakuna glass wageni wakienda hakuna glass lakini aka kakobe kangu kila wakati kanaoshwa na kanaangalia vizuri that's why i love this god kwa maana alilichagua haleluya kuwa ananitumia na anitumii siku moja he made me to be a vessel of honor haleluya amen so there are vessels of honor kuna tumbo ya heshima lakini sio kusema zile zingine sio za heshima ni kusema hizo zingine sio za sawa si Mungu awafanye kuwa chombo za heshima in the mighty name of Jesus Christ may you become the vessels of honor eh zikimaliziwa pota pota can make vessels of honor haleluya yule mtu aona ni yule mtu anatupatia 1100 ama ni yule anaombea viwete wanatembea <laughs> which is which yule wa kutupatia 1100 ni honor kwa sababu kabla hajapatiana 1100 amepitia safari amezugushwa nyikani amekuwa mami by the way even to give you need to fast and pray i believe the financiers of the church should be prayer warriors also kwa maana i don't think wanapatiana tu bila kutarajia chochote kutoka kwa Mungu na ndio hiyo begu irudi lazima ifusukume na maombi so prayer warriors financiers are more prayer warriors bwana asifiwe na wacha nikwambie kupenda kwa kanisa ni gumu kuliko kuyobea mtu kiwete aftebe. Kiwete ili atebe unahitaji power from above. Kupeana pesa yako ni bajeti yako unastahili usinunue vitu vingine which is more difficult. Si ni kupeana pesa kwa kanisa. Yeah. It, 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 so, kupeana pesa kwa kanisa is more power. Giving require more power than even raising the dead to me. Kwa sababu ni bajeti imesquizwa ni budget imeangaliwa but we are vessels of honor bwana asifiwe kwa nini tuko vessels of honor as we pray kwa sababu hii moja sisi wote watu wa wanasemanga na ndio nilikuwa naambia watu wengine pasta pasta sio superman kuna kama mtu kana kujaga na kwa cartoon kana kujaga na nguo ya buru kana lukanga kutoka building moja akienda ingine ku rescue watu kana itagwaje spider man Watu wanadhani pasta ni Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider-Man ni kusema anaweza kuwa hapa muogoka na anataka kwenda makogeni. Hakuna kupitia mahali. Shui. Pasta is not a Spider-Man. Pasta ni struggle kama wewe. Is a core struggle. Lakini ile ifanyika kwa mchungaji ni nini? Amechagua hata akiwa na shida zake kusaidia wale wengine. Ako na mzigo Hallelujah. Kwa sababu ni honorable vessel, ako na mzigo. Hallelujah. Au oh, nadhani wale walikuwa wana worship hapa wana mashida. Wacha wamalize hapa uite kado. Akupatie list ya yale haijafanywa na Mungu. Na umulize, na ulikuwa unamwabudu kwa nini? Oh yes. <laughs> so we are strugglers. Ni vile ametufanya tuwe the vessels of ona. Oh, Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. Nikiweka hii mic chini niache hii kazi. Do you think I'll be anybody else? I see this is the honor. Bwana asifiwe. Idio heshima ile Mungu amenifanya kuwa chombo ambacho ni cha heshima. Angalia wewe na mimi hatu, hakuna mahali tunajuana. We are not even related. Hata najaribu kuambia madhe mama yangu na huyu huyu anaitwa nani akikuja na wakati wa mwingine namuuliza e waje leo itakuwa wapi kwa sababu you are not related nikijaribu kuambia babaku huyo anaitwa fulani tukirudi tena ana sawa but look at the love of jesus we are brothers 
We are sisters. Hallelujah. Amen. What an honor. Kupatua ma sister wegine. Na ma brother wegine. Abao wanaweza piga magoti. Na wataje jina yako. That is an honor. Mm. Asupu ya leo kuna mtu walikutanja. That is an honor. Your mother anaweza kuwa alikusao. Your brother alikusao. But there is a vessel. Kile ambacho ni chaheshima. Kili kutanja. Mbwana asifu. Amen. So may you become a vessel of honor. Amen. Pokea neema ya kuwa chombo. Chaheshima katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Hallelujah. Number three. Special vessels. We are playing. First Timothy 2. 20. Special. Oh. Yeah. But in a great house, they are not only vessels of gold and silver, but also of wood and earth. Some of honor and some of dishonor. If any man therefore purge himself from this, he shall be the vessel and honor, sanctified. To meet the master's use and prepared unto every good works. Special vessels. Hallelujah. Second Timothy 2 20. It is. Uh, Basi katika nyumba kubwa. Have you more vehicles that have a feather? Bari via meeting na via udongo. Na vigine vya heshima na havina. <laughs> Basi ikiwa mtu atajitakasa kwa, na kujitaka kwa hao. Atakuwa chobo cha kupata heshima. Kiricho safishwa. Kina, kifaacho buwana. Kimetengenezwa kwa kila. Kimetengenezwa kwa kila kazi. Ilio. Jema. Jema. Kazi. Ilio. So there are special duty vessels. Amen. Kuna verse ambazo ni za special duty. Hey, hallelujah. Amen. May you become a special duty vessel. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Wakati buge ina <laughs> Wakati buge inaendelea. Kuna mtu anakuja akiwa amebeba inaitwa Mess. Inakuja imebeba. Inaekelewa hapo. Hiyo ni ya kuonyesha nini? Mamlaka ya Hiyo sio fibo ya kawaida. Is a special Vesso. Bwana asifie. Special vesso. Angalia gari ya rais wetu ama governor. Iko na bendera gapi? Pili. Hiyo sio gari ya kawaida. Inaitwa official car. Inaweza kuwa inafanana na ile yako. Lakini <laughs> kuwekwa tu bendera is a special car. Ikipita barabara inaondoka na zingine. May God make you a special vesso. Amen. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Tunaweza kuwa tunafanana na wale wengine. Kwa maana sisi wote ni udongo. Hallelujah. Amen. But you can become special. Paulo anawaambia mtu akijitenga na hayo. Hapo chini utakuta ni nini unaambiwa ujitenge naye. Mtu akijitenga na hayo atakuwa chombo cha maana cha kutumika katika kazi yoyote. Oh, mwenye nyumba anataka. They are special. Hata kama kwa nyumba yako kuna vitu they are special ones. Special ones. Hazi toka angi inje. Hazi pati anangui. Hallelujah. Amen. Sikuna special. So tuko kazi. Ya mikono ya buwana. But we can be special vessels. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Kuna vitu hazi pati anangui kwa nyuba. Na ukikuta hazi mepeanwa. Ni shida. Why? Because they are special. May you become the vessel which is special. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. May you also become the vessel of mercy. Roman 9.23. And I say, they are vessels of mercy. Kuna vyombo va uruma. We are vessels of mercy. Special vessels. Atene that toi guire iroa. Hallelujah. So we are on his hands. And we are vessels. Siafanya vire anataka na sisi. Siafanya vire anataka na sisi. Si Mungu atusaidie kuwa waaminifu. Rima shaka na barabada. Oh, mwambie bwana ni asanti. Karamasha. Mbikari marabadu. Sinto lidididi. 
Rima maskalana. Tulitolewa bali. Tulitolewa bali. Tulitolewa bali. Tumetolewa bali. Tumetenganishwa. Oh, tumetolewa mbali. Tumeondolewa uondongo. Tumeondolewa mawe. Tumeondolewa. Tumewekwa kwa maji. We have been softened by the water. But now, he's making us to be the wonderful vessel. We are in his hand. On his hand. Tuko mikononi mwake. Tuko mikononi mwake. Rabuka ramarebele. Mekelelelele. Zima rabarabara. Bika ramarabara. Rima mamaskalana. Mwambi uko mikononi mwake. Mwambi uko mikononi mwake. Wewe ni chombo. Wewe ni chombo. Wewe ni chombo. Rombo baramaraba. Anakusungusha. Na hii maisha mbao nakaa. Hiyo mamba mwapitia. Ni kusungushwa. Hiyo mamba mbao natipitia. Ni kutengenezwa. Hiyo mamba mbao natipitia. Oh. You are being made. You are being made. You are being made. You are being made. Rodo babarabara. Rima mama maskelelea. Ruta mami mama rabara. Rima maskelana. Sinto lobe rabibara. Reme bere bere bere. Rika rama 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 rama. Rima mama maskelelea. Zinda riba rama rama rama. Riko rabo 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 rabo. You are special vessel. Rima rama rama rama. You are the vessel of honor. Uko miko noni moake. Yeah. Yala ma rama rama. Rima ma 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 ma. Rito 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 rito. Rima ma 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 ma. It's not an accident. Sio ajari tu komi kono ni muake. Sio ajari. Sio ajari tu komi kono ni muake. Sio baadhi baya tu komi kono ni muake. Sio ajari tu komi kono ni muake. Yeah. Yeah. Le 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 le. Rima ra 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 ra. Yeah le 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 le. Rima ra 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 ra. Ito le 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 le. Rima ma ma ma. Rima ma 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 ma. Rima ma 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 ma. Mambi e bana kusame. Chozo taki na za panya tu zonda. Chozo taki na za panya tu haribo. Chozo taki na za panya. Awe kini mesheto. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, we repent. We repent tonight. Yes, Amen. Makosa yote boana. Rafiso kero ana. Mambia tusame. Yes. I said it all. I said. 
anything you want, O Lord. That's why we surrender our vessels to you. Atangaza we die mkubwa na diwe na weza yote. Chombo chetu kiko mikono ni mwaka. Maisha yetu kiko mikono ni mwaka. We thank you and our Lord. I don't know. Nasikia tu kuwekerea mtu mikono. Kwa mana kuna watu wanafikiria mambo mengine. But I came to tell you. Vino unafikiria siwe vile hiko. You need an impartation to change. The idea is God akonai. Ama ile mipango Mungu akonai. He's not happy. Na wewe unadhani ako happy. Probably he's happy with you. Eh, kusitokea kitu ambacho kitamfanya akasiriki. So I live. I believe umesikia ujumbe. You really need God to touch you today. Come I pray with you. And your life will never be the same again. Hata kama amekasirishwa na wewe. Hata kama ujui ni nini naendelea. Still love. So today I feel like laying my hand on people. Oh, for impartation. Na utafika mahali anataka. Wewe ni chombo kiko mikono ni mwache. Kazi ya namalizi. The whole is study. The whole is study. Come and pray. Kama itaji gine ya nate. God will bless. Kama itaji gine ya nate. Whatever you need. Kama itaji gine ya nate.
She become a vessel of honor. May she become a special vessel. We come out with the blood of Jesus. We declare her tomorrow is brighter than today. May the grace of God be upon her eyes. Write her enemies, my father. Write her candle every day. Write her candle every day. On her steps every day. We with her every day, my Lord. Scatter her enemies, O oh Lord. As she enjoy the glaze. May she become a vessel of mass. Mara Mishkalavada. A vessel of mass in her family. A vessel of mass in her life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We bless you for your work today. Thank for it is done in our life. In Jesus' name we pray. May God bless you. Say 
All of you are members. May God bless you. Kwa vile mmefika siku ya leo. Tumekuwa na tatizo la maji. But you have made it to the house of the Lord. We bless the Lord for you. May the Lord bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So vile mmekuja kupitia hiyo hali yote baya ya anga. Lakini kwenu ni kwenu. We must go to the house of God. Bwana asifiwe. So tumeona vile tutatengeneza sasa sababu tulikuwa tunataka kunyeshe we see how we can make the lord better and we do it by the grace of god hallelujah so thank you very much tunashukuru mungu kwa wiki hii hatukuwa kwa wednesday but this wednesday I'll be in the office from 10 am god bless you to 4 pm that is tumesema ni ushirika may god bless us for that Friday tunakuja maombi all night sio lazima ufunge but let us come for prayer kuanzia saa 5 tuombe mpaka asubuhi and God will guide us ni vizuri tuombe nchi yetu Mungu ametupatia mvua so baraka za Mungu zizidi katika familia zetu na katika nchi yetu and God will bless us be your brothers keeper afadhali kuna watu wa kuona kwa service msiku ya leo leaders watawaangalia lakini hata sisi wenyewe tusaidiane kuwa the brothers keeper ongea na huyo mwingine muulize kama ni kwao tu kuna nyesha haleluya kwa ni anakaaga wapi sababu sisi wote tulikuwa huku and god has done it and we love it for what he have done watoto wanafunga shule kuanzia tuesday so we are expecting our children back so the other week tutakuwa na program ya youth nitawaambia vile tutafanya on sunday so youth be prepared for those two weeks We shall have a program with you. Hallelujah and God will bless you. Amen. Tunazidi kutengeneza mahali hapa. Sasa tumejua mahali tuko na kuko namna gani. Zidi kutoa kuomba na kujitayarisha. From 7th May is love offering. Nitotoe pesa kulingana na vile tutajitolea the way we love our God and we thank God for that. We keep on playing for you and we shall give our money to the from this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tunashukuru Mungu kwa mahali tumefika. Kuwa tuko hapa siku ya leo ni mkono wa Bwana. 
Hallelujah. Tunaweza kuja uingie huku and we in a good house of God. We thank God. It's a good experience. Sasa mvua imenyesha. We have been stretched from pillar to post. But we thank God. Tutazidi kutengeneza. Don't worry about it. Tuko kwetu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wakati naona mahali ituko, mimi nashukuru Mungu. Kwa sababu sisi ni kujenga tunajenga. Kuna wengine hata hawana mahali. Bwana asifiwe. Na Mungu akitufungulia milango, we just do our building very well. We roof it and all will be well. Hallelujah. So nyinyi ni watu wa guvu. May God bless you. On that eve, tumesema ni anniversary na birthdays. Nataka uje uje u, u, ukuje na special thanksgiving seed. Ukuje na special thanksgiving seed. Continue keeping that in your mind. Siku hiyo ada kitu ya kushukuru Bwana. Bwana asifiwe. Sababu ya miaka hii kumi. Then tutakuwa tukiobea watoto wote wamezaliwa in the last year there are seven or eight. We'll be praying for them and thanking God. Hallelujah. Kwa maana wale watoto wanazaliwa nyuma hii tunataka kuna kitu yao ambao ni tofauti na wale wengine. Wale walizaliwa tukiwa on transist, tukielekea kwetu, hao wamezaliwa tukiwa kwetu. So they are different, hata behavior zao ni different na mambo yao yote. So tutaenda tharadhini